Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Freak by Ultra Cornhole. And I'll start off by saying I appreciate the fact that Ultra gave this bag a new name and didn't just add a letter to it of one of their existing models. I've made it known in my other videos how much I hate their, their letter system and how confusing it is. And I appreciate the fact they gave this bag a new name. So let's go ahead and break these freaks down and I'll tell you all about them. We'll start with the slow side. This is the same carpet that was on the Mojo. It's that BG Viking carpet. Same carpet you find on the Fly Magic, Swag Bags, Emerald XR, the B3 Decimator, Decimator 2s. Uh, a lot of companies use it. It's, it's one of the two most popular true carpet materials. You have that Reynolds Pro Advantage carpet, and then you have this Viking carpet here. It's about a four-speed. Plays a little quicker new. Once you break it in and really get it softened up, it's a pretty consistent four-speed. Great for that dirty style game, those blocks pushes even for cuts rolls flops it's, it's just a really sticky material great control material looking at a four speed on the slow side fast side this is a new material and and, and hesitate saying new I, i've actually seen this material on a bag last year earlier last year but it was a prototype bag never actually did i ever actually hit the market only it ever actually came i think they changed the material on it uh, so this is the first bag i've actually seen released that has this material on there it's a very soft material it feels a lot like that pro advantage fast side material but it plays quicker. I call it about, I'm gonna call it about an eight speed. Brand new, it plays very fast. It plays closer to like a nine or so. But once it starts to break down and you, this material really fuzzes up a lot more than I'm used to polyester materials fuzzing up. Really gets super fuzzy. It, it starts to slow down once that fuzz builds up on there. So I'm, I think about an eight speed is where this thing's gonna settle at. It's where it has settled at for me in my testing with it. So about a four, eight speed on this. This fast temperature also does not play well in humidity. It's it's, it's got that, you know, it, it really does, that softness absorbs that moisture when, when boards gets damp and sticky and it slows down. However, the carpet side plays faster in humidity. So it's one of those bags that you may see the speeds flip as you, if you get really into a really humid area where the, the carpet becomes the faster side and the fast side becomes a slow side. Another thing I'll mention on this fast side material is it does seem to show wear very quickly. I don't think it's not durable it fuzzes up really quickly the the, the coloring the, the 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 design starts to fade it just really seems to show a lot of wear quicker and even along the seams you can see a little bit here especially when you got darker colors on here you can start seeing how well you can see this but you start seeing the white along the seams and it looks like it's the stitching it's not the stitching it's the this this fast side's a really loose material and so what happens is as it starts to kind of break in and stretch out a little bit that it becomes looser and the side of the, of the material that has the ink on it, it starts to roll a little bit and you start seeing the other side of it, the underside, the sides of it that don't have ink and this, you know, the material looks like a white. So you start seeing a lot of white showing through. It's not the threads or the, or any of the seam kind of part. It's just the way the material looks. So it's just, I think it's just cosmetic. I don't, I, I, I haven't thrown this enough to say it's not durable, but that was one of the reasons when that prototype, why it didn't make it to market was just the, it looked after a while of throwing it, it, it looked like the bag was a lot older than what it was. So just keep that in mind. If you buy these bags, they're going to look a little rougher than they are as you use them. Template wise on this, this is that kind of medium to larger template. It's a template Ultra uses. Ultra uses one of the larger templates out there. So if you like a large bag, that's what you got here with the Freak. The It's a medium amount of fill. So it does have flop. It is not overly floppy. It's, it's kind of on the, I would say on the fuller side. Uh, but for a carpet bag, for a traditional carpet bag, it's, it is it is floppier than what you normally get on carpet bags. A medium amount of fill. The fill in here is, I think it's the same fill that you're using there in most of our bags. It's, it's a mixed fill, but it is mostly, mostly flat fill. There are a few beads I find in here, but it, it's a lot of flat fill and a lot of smaller fill, which gives the bag a ton of forgiveness landing. So this material has a ton of kick to it. It's not that forgiving, but when you take when you take that the most of those beads out and give the bag a little more of a forgiving feel, it doesn't have as much bounce, which takes away some of the kit, so it's a little more forgiving. Uh, the bag maybe isn't the most forgiving around the hole. You've got enough flop here that you can kind of grab the hole so it doesn't skip over like most carpet bags do. You can grab them. But this material, and I'm not, this is not knocking this bag. This is just this, this, this carpet here, this material just ha it's slower because it, it it has more friction and so it has density to want to hang on the whole surface in that but if you've thrown carpet bags true carpet bags that's what you get you're not going to find a true carpet material that is really that hole friendly in my experience so you're going to get a little bit of that but honestly for being a four speed slow side and the control you have it's actually a very forgiving bag i found that out i really enjoyed throwing it because it didn't punish me when i made mistakes like like some other traditional carpet bags would so these bags are also acl stamped they have the acl pro stamp for 2024 if you're if you're playing the acl let's go ahead and jump into playability on this bag and as i mentioned it's really a straightforward this is a bag designed for control designed for during the boards up designed for throwing blockers up there and then you you know you're cutting you're rolling you're flopping whatever and then you're cleaning up at the end that's where i really found this bag to be successful i will say when you play that block style game 
you, you have to be careful because I did find sometimes these bags will bunch and almost want to clog because they are on the fuller side with that, without having enough flop. When you go to collect multiple bags, especially if I have two bags up side by side, I try to come to the middle, split them, collect them. If they just bunched up and then they just hit, they wouldn't fold up. There's not enough flop here to this bag to fold up and drip in so they would clog the holes you have to be careful about that if you're if you're the type of player who throws multiple blockers and then tries to push a bunch of bags in at the end it may you may have a hard time with these what i found was if i wanted to throw two blockers up there i would throw two up side by side if i get them up there and then my third bag i would pick the bag off on my side fourth bag i would try to collect the bag on my opponent's side and work them that way i'm only taking two bags at one time the thing is this fast side i found this fast side tends to it tends to have speed when the board's open. When it goes to push, it's not the best at pushing. You can push through. If you have a harder throw, you have no problem. If you don't have that hard throw, more of a normal or a, a more of a finesse throw, you're going to have a hard time pushing, especially multiple bags with this fast side. You have to throw a little harder to really get it to push and follow through. But it does mean the bag doesn't hit and kick off as much as a faster material would. And then you have enough movement enough bounce in here even though it's not a very bouncy enough movement bounce that for cuts rolls flops it's actually a pretty easy bag to do so you can really shape those shots and even if you're not the best roll bag player or the best player throwing cuts you can you can really do you know as long as you can get that bag in the right orientation you can get some movement on the bag i really like that so it's a, it a great bag for me to throw a blocker up there and instead of trying to get a double blocker or another blocker around it and having everybody try to clean it up i would throw one blocker up there and then i would work my cuts around the bag and then Last bag flip over, throw a little harder and push through and clean up. And, and I had a lot of success with that. I would say the other thing to do is if, you know, maybe you don't like to throw blockers. Maybe you're you're a harder thrower. Maybe you play on faster boards. Maybe your player likes to land the bag deeper on the board. This is a bag where because it has the stickier slide, if you're landing deeper, it's it's not going to hit and just fly off the back. It's really going to slow down. If you're a harder thrower, you can still control it faster boards and choice so this is a bag that you know if you're playing those situations and you want a bag that has some a little bit of a little slower but not as bouncy not as penalizing as a bouncy bead fill carpet bag would be this freak is a good option for you on that in fact you know i i, I didn't have problems you know when i because I like to throw a little harder sometimes and then softer. So sometimes I, I always find myself with this bag. Sometimes I just wanted to run bags for a few rounds and I would just get a little harder to throw, throw them flatter, harder, and just slide them in the hole and go back for bag that way. And if I missed, like I said, the bag wasn't off the back, it was stopping to the side of the hole. Sometimes stopping just in front where it's still collectible and I could go get it. Because if there's a bag anywhere in front of the hole, you pretty much had the opportunity to go get it with this bag. You had enough control on the slow side that you could go grab that bag and pull it back in. So it, it, for me, it's a great bag and a fun bag to throw to play that dirty style game because you have enough control that you can. It gives you a ton of options for getting but getting around bags, getting over bags, getting your bag in the hole, leaving the bags up there. It has a ton of control. You can put blockers where you want to on the board. I didn't mention with the collectability of the bag. It's a very collectible bag because it's full and not that super floppy. You, you can just clip in the corner and take it in. It's not going to cord up on you. So very collectible bag. I'm not so sold on this fast side material. Like like Ultra has, they have that Viper fast side that, that, that and you know, it's the same as the Psycho. You know, either side of that material, I think would be a better option on this bag. As far as for pushing and cleaning up and, and collecting bags, I will say this material is super soft, but I, I almost would rather see them release this material with that Widow fast side and then release one with the Viper fast side and give you two options. But if I went to a blind draw and you pulled this freak out, I'm fine playing. Like, like, it's not a bad bag. It's actually a decent bag. It's a good bag. And, and if you like, you know, if you like that control style game and you want to try a different fast side, grab a set of freaks and give them a try. That leads me to availability. And Ultra has a website. It's ultracornhole.com link down description for you guys now the price this is probably my biggest issue with this bag and a lot of ultra bag is their pricing if you catch the bags and they first release them they put them out at 95 dollars for a set and then shipping and taxes it ships to you just under 100 like it's 113 something just under 114 115 dollars which is is, is is still on the higher price of bags right it's not it's not anywhere near the cheapest it's it's borderline that higher price not the most expensive but it's getting there but these bags are normally 125 dollars. so if you wait then the prices start creeping back up if you're looking to buy a set Wait until they release a new design or a new colorway, and usually they drop them back down to closer to that 95. I mean, I think currently these freaks are $99 because they're still pretty new, but the longer you wait, the more expensive they're going to be. Uh, and, you know, again, it, Ultra makes great bags. They have, they have quality bags. I have no issues with the craftsmanship for the quality of their bags. Um, they do a great job. It's just there are a lot of other bags out there that, that have this slow side that are a lower price and that would be my only hesitation to say go get this back is the price of it from them i'd love to hear your feedback what you like what you don't like always love hearing your opinions if i got something wrong in this video let me know i i appreciate all the feedback i get on that i thank you so much for your support and i thank you for watching